Welcome back to new Unreal Engine tutorial. So in the new tutorial, I will show you how to implement or how to provide the clipping. So yeah, basically you can see my weapon here. And when I go to a wall, uh, you can see that my weapon is clipping in the wall. And now we want to provide that. And the most games uses that you render the first person arms and the weapon on a secondary camera or they render it above the other uh, the other things in the world so yeah it won't clip but I want to go with a more natural one and yeah so let's get started and go into our character blueprint so here's my character I just have this animation here with my weapon and let's create another function we call the function the clipping trace and we add some stuff here so let's place in your note and let's say sphere trace for objects and the start is basically our pistol here so let's get our pistol let's get a socket the socket location so first let's go into our pistol here and you can basically see I've created a, a socket here called muzzle at the front of my weapon here. So let's get the location from the socket called muzzle. Set the start. Let's multiply or oh first let's uh, get the forward vector. And then let's multiply the forward vector by let's say 20 and let's add the socket location to the forward vector um, times 20 and then that comes into the end so let's set the radius to like 20 and let's go out of object types and say make array so here we can say um, so here can we, we can set the object types that we want to yeah where we want to prevent the colliding or the clipping so let's say world static world dynamic and maybe physics actor okay let's compile and save we get no errors let's set the draw debug type to for one frame and let's have a look okay yeah we have to call it first <laughs> so we cannot see um something right now so let's get the event tick here let's call it the clipping trace and compile again okay so now we can see something we can see a trace but it's pointing to the right and that is because i fucked something up with my weapon so uh, the rotation of, of my weapon and blender is wrong so UE basically thinks that the forward direction for my weapon is in in this way here in this way so let's just get the right vector and yeah let's get the right vector in my uh, yeah so uh, let's just get the right vector and let's see okay yeah let's set the radius to like five it's 20 is way too way too big okay so we can see that our trace is going backwards so we want to go it forward so let's um, uh, multiply it by minus 20 and now we can see our trace is going from us away and uh, yeah so now when we go to a wall we can see here that our trace is getting green here and it hits the wall so yeah let's set it to minus yeah let's say minus 10 we want to start like yeah so here it will basically start and move our weapon down i just set it to minus five so now we want to actually move our weapon or move our hands away so they won't clip when we're hitting the wall here so let's 
uh, cause some new stuff after this trace here. Let's first let's create a branch and check if we're hitting something with a return value here. And then let's say um, when we're hitting something, we want to rotate our first person hands. So let's say um, at uh, at relative rotation here. And it, it is important that it's the relative uh, rotation and it and it says add and not set. Um, and then we just say, so every tick we're hitting a wall, we want to move our weapon more down. So let's see here uh, on the rotation, you can see the X is the rotation that will move our weapon down. So, um, let's say plus five. Okay plus five so let's see okay whoa, whoa, okay <laughs> where is my it's under the ground okay so let's say minus let's say 0 0.1 so it's not that fast yeah okay so we can see our hands are moving down but um, yeah, the origin point of our first person hands is too more too. Yeah, it's down here. So we want to actually rotate it up here. So the origin is here and we can rotate it like that. So let's create uh, another scene. So under the first person camera, add a scene here and call this the clipping socket. We set all location, rotation, and scale, and you make sure it's under the camera. And then, ah, oh, we have to reset it first. No, okay. So then grab your first person mesh and put it under the clipping socket. And then we can basically um, rotate the first person hands on this point here. So let's compile and save, and let's. Um, yeah, at the relative location, uh, rotation, sorry, to the clipping socket. And now let's see if it's looking better. Oh, okay, so actually, um, the X, the X has changed, so we have to use the Y now. 0 point, uh, 0 0.5 and compile and save again. So now you can see our map weapon is moving up. So let's say minus 0 0.5, check again. Now you can see our weapon is moving down. And yeah, it looks pretty good, but our weapon is not going back. So, um, oops. Let's actually um, do this a little faster, minus three. And now we want to actually bring our weapon back up. Yeah, that's looking good. So when we're not hitting the wall and just standing around, we want to see our weapon again. So how do we do that? We just basically go um, and say, when we're not hitting something, we want to reset the relative rotation. So uh, what are we doing? We get the clipping socket here we set the relative rotation and yeah we want it to be zero get out of the rotation new rotation here say r interp2 so we interpolate it so it's more smooth out of the delta time get uh, the delta seconds Get world data seconds like so. Let's set the speed to 20. The current is um, we get the clipping socket. Get the relative rotation. Set the current here. And the target, yeah, is basically zero. So now when we're not hitting something, we are moving our weapon down. Uh, more, uh, we are moving our weapon up. 
And when we're hitting something, we move the weapon down. So let's see if we get any errors. Moving the weapon down, and it's moving up again. But, um, yeah, when we're like not near to the wall, we can see that our weapon is basically moving up and, more and down again because uh, when we move the weapon more down and it says, oh yeah, I'm not hitting the wall anymore, then I want to move up and uh, yeah, then it detects that we're, then we hit the wall again and yeah, it's basically a loop and it looks not so good. So how do we do this? We basically create another trace and yeah, let's move this a little more to the right and yeah we can basically copy this trace here paste it here and put that here put the execution pin here and now let's um relieve these values here and we just set the radius to like eight so we have a second trace uh let's say uh, let's set the color here to like blue so you can see it's slightly bigger than the other trace. Yeah, you can see. And um, now we want to basically check if the outer or the more bigger uh, trace is also hitting something. If we're not hitting something with the outer trace, we want to move our weapon up. But if it's still hitting something, then we want to, yeah, don't do anything. So if this is hitting something, uh, we just do nothing on true, but on false, we just bring our weapon back up. So let's see if that is working. Yeah, I think so. So now you can see when we go to a wall, our weapon is moving down, it's moving up again. And when it's not near to the wall, our weapon is just moving a bit more down okay so i think that was the tutorial yeah a little short tutorial and i hope you understand anything if you have any questions then yeah write feel free to write in the comments and also uh, you can join my discord right now there are many many new updates and also um yeah i published uh, a pack um called the first person at once pack on itch.io and yeah if you want to create first person animations or a first person shooter then yeah have a look at it and yeah so i hope you liked the tutorial and see you in the next one bye bye